Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of 410 Drone and Travel. If this is your first time here, please make sure you hit the subscribe buttons and make sure you hit the bell icon to get notified of all my new videos that I come out with. In this episode, we're going to be going over the Tumi Alpha Bravo Continental Carry-On Luggage. A little background on this, I've had this about 18 months, maybe 20 months, and Obviously, I didn't have this channel back then or else I would have reviewed it then. But actually, this is a pretty good chance to review it because it's got a lot of wear and tear on it. So this is a good chance to review this because it is 18 to 20 months old. And it has been on 30 plus flights, including domestically and internationally. And it's had more than 150 hotel nights uh, on it. So I've done traveling in my vehicle and traveling on a plane. So let's get into it. Okay, here is my Tumi Alpha Bravo Continental carry-on luggage. This is the uh, older style camo color. Believe it or not, there's actually a couple of these still floating out there in the Tumi outlets. Um, let's get started and go over some of the compartments. Um, down here is the wide pocket compartment. Uh, this is where I keep some spare belts and other things like that. Um, these two are identical up top, zipper compartments. I keep my chargers usually in there, maybe some medicine if I need any. And the zippers are very, very tough and they take a beating. I'm using them on every trip. Now, if we look over here, we have the uh, wheel protectors at the bottom. So when you slam it down on the luggage cart or the luggage belt at the airport, it doesn't bust up the internals of the wheels. Hard solid back, which protects the aluminum, aircraft aluminum grade handle. Uh, there is nice padding back here so it will not bend when it gets slammed down on the luggage rack or whatever you may have at the airport. Okay, on this side, we have the carry-on handle for when you want to stow it this way in either a luggage cart or your vehicle, trunk, whatever. It comes with the normal Tumi luggage tag, which you can fill out, have monogrammed, um, or just you can take it off and use your own. On this side, we have the zipper, which will unzip and give you another two inches of space on this. That's huge. If you go on a long five, seven, ten day trip and you need the extra space, you can unzip that and get yourself an extra two inches of space in there, which is a huge help, especially when you're flying internationally for a long period of time. Okay, on the bottom here, let's get into the wheels. Uh, these wheels have been the most smooth wheels I've ever had on any piece of luggage, and that's why I did go with Tumi. Uh, they hold up well. Like I said, it's had over 30 flights on and off a plane, over 150 nights in a hotel, rolling on and off elevators, in and out of rooms. I put some pretty pretty heavy weight inside of this uh, to me uh, luggage and it's done great, done absolutely great. As you can tell on the bottom, it is, it is pretty reinforced uh, so you don't bust up the bottom. It's got the ballistic nylon all over and that helps with the wear and tear on the fabric when you are in and out of a vehicle, in and out of a plane, hotel room, etc. Also I forgot and it may be hard for you guys to tell. On the bottom is the Tumi uh, ID lock tag. When you buy a Tumi piece of luggage, uh, backpack, purse, etc., you can go on their website, register it with them, and if you ever lose that piece of luggage, they can turn it in. Somebody can turn it into somebody at the airport or to another Tumi store. They can scan it and see whose it is and return it to you for free. Okay, here we are on top of the Tumi luggage. As you can tell, it's got two very heavy duty zippers on it. It does come with the Tumi uh, Airport TSA lock. This will allow the TSA to get into it over here in case they wanna check it for any reason. You can reset it on the bottom. It's got the push button, heavy duty aircraft grade aluminum handles for ultimate maneuverability. Okay, let's take a look inside. All right, here we are inside the uh, Tumi Alpha Bravo Continental. It's got about 
maybe a four, five inch deep main pocket with your strap to hold down your clothes if you need to really squeeze them in there. On the top part, you have two separate sections. Now, personally, I carry my underwear and my socks in here because they work the best for me in these two pockets and I don't have to use space somewhere else for them. This is a very small, thin pocket. It's about six inches wide by about 10 inches long. This one is about eight or nine inches wide. It does have an expandable side to it. So when you unzip it and you put stuff in there, you can really stuff stuff in there. The main pocket on the back is pretty wide open. Now, I don't use the sections in this like some people do, but these will fold up and you can have different sections to put different kinds of clothes in. I usually put jeans or uh, dress shirts in my dress shirt holder in here and just leave it flat. But it does come in handy, I guess, if you need to separate different kinds of clothes with the two different sections in here. Okay, so along with the main compartment in here, I keep my toiletry bag, which, yes, is a tomb. It, it fits pretty well in this little section here. It's a little bit big. I have it stuffed right now. But I have all my products in here from hair gel, shampoo, soap, my toothbrush, cologne, deodorant, etc. And it fits pretty well in here. It doesn't take up too much room and works for what I'm doing when I'm traveling. Ultimately, it was worth it because I travel so much. I was breaking the El Cheapo carry-ons like from Walmart or from... Uh, Target or wherever you may get your normal cheaper stuff but I did get this at the outlet 18 20 months ago it has held up very well there's almost no blemishes on it for as much as it's been traveled this is definitely my favorite piece of luggage and I would definitely buy another one I don't need to buy another one because the amount of traveling that I do I can fit everything in this I've been on a seven day trip before and fit everything in this now if you need to fit a suit jacket or a suit, this will not work for you. You need to bring a, 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 you know, a garment bag. But for short-term trips, carry-on luggage type of applications, this will work perfect for you. This, not expanded, does fit on Southwest Airlines flights as a carry-on for your overhead bin. It will not work in an American Airlines or Delta flight as a carry-on on the overhead bin. It physically will work, but if they catch you trying to get on the plane with it and they don't like the size of it, they will tell you to check it. I've been through that before. So, I hope you did enjoy my review of, of my Tumi Alpha Bravo Continental carry-on luggage. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, please make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And uh, leave me a comment down below. Ask me any questions you want about this. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.